Raymond, I've got something to say to you. Uh, so have I, Arthur. Now, just listen to me. I want to apologise, and I want you to come out of... Well, come off the bench, sort of thing. What, you mean stop being retired? I need a few pointers, Arthur. Well, I reckon I can make a go of it, but I can't jump straight into your shoes. Oh, that's very inconvenient, Ray. I've got a couple of very interesting jaunts fixed up for next week, and your dad needs help with his RD annuals. Arthur. All right, as your family. Come on, tell me what's moving. Well, Harold Cleet's been in. Who? You know, Harold. Stocky, brown hair, the jewellery man. I bought a load of costume stuff off him, and the good news is I've managed to shift it already. Oh, my God. What's up? Did you happen to shift it to a tall, elegant, blonde woman? Yeah, how do you know? And did this Harold come back a second time? Well, yeah, he did, uh, a little bit later. And the second time, was it twice as much gear at four times the price? And you bought it because you knew you could offload it. You will never see that woman again. You are several hundred quid light with a load of tat you'll never be able to shift. They're famous, that couple, for that scam. Uh, no, it wasn't like that, Arthur. Harold sold me the other stuff at the same price. What? What's happening? Raymond Daly. That's him. I'm Detective Sergeant Harris. I have reason to believe you're in possession of stolen goods. I do have a search warrant. Here, hang on. If it's anything particular, Sergeant, perhaps we could help. No, thanks. Raymond, let's get out of the way. I should stay away for a few days. I say Bridlington's very nice this time of year. Could you open this cabinet, please? Certainly. Ray? Gentlemen, we were acting on information received. Sergeant. Show me a computer that can do that, Ray, and I'll believe in progress. How did you know? There's a certain kind of knock that can only be the police. What's going on, Arthur? A little manoeuvre known as the plant. You mean that costume stuff's real? Yeah. Normally, this thing is used to deprive people of a large lump of money, but in this case, it's been adapted. So why does this Harold character want to drop us in it with the law? It's not his style, Ray. He is strictly a con artist. Who's he working for? Well, at the moment, there are others better qualified to judge. Come on. Arthur, how come you never told me about that filing cabinet? Ah, oh, no, Ray, I wouldn't like you to think I ever had any reason to hide anything from you. I'll, um, I'll show you how it works when we get back. Right. Here, hold the handle when I knock, just in case. <laughs> 